I think you know the website very well. Quran KSU KSU dot edu sa saudi arabia i think you are familiar with the website right yeah i know this website is right. it's the most trusted one when you want to look for tafsir that's wonderful okay and this is tafsir al qurtubi let us go down and as long as you speak arabic that's really wonderful you will find this The privilege of the Prophet, they are counting the privilege of the Prophet. The number one is the best of the booty. Does it say that or I'm lying? Safiyul Magna. Yeah. Okay, the best yeah. of the booty. Number two, Al Istibdadu bi khums al khums aw al khums. He will have in all inclusive the fifth of the booty. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. All right, thank you. Then they continue and then they say Arabia. To increase more than four wives, correct? Mm -hmm. Which means he do not need to get married. The woman she said, take me, she's his. Okay. Number six, to have sex with the women without her perm the permission of her parents. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. This is a privilege only for Muhammad. It's all about sex. Then number seven, and nikah without pain, he do sleep with women without paying them. Number eight, he can have sex even when he's around the Kaaba. Number nine, he can take an oath and his oath in the front of his wives and he is not going to be uh, like, it's okay for him to take a false oath for his wives. Number 10, and I want you please to translate, was was al Asher. إذا وقع بصره على امرأة وجب على زوجها طلاقها وحل له نكاحها. Translate please. Yeah, if, if he puts his eyes on a woman, uh, her husband has to divorce her and he can marry her to take her. Okay, okay I look. What is the authenticity? My friend, this is your books. I mean, you are oh, asking. The, yeah, I know. This is Ibn al-Arabi. This is not the Christian prince. This is not me and you. This is not Ibn Kathir. We are talking about big okay, names. Blah, blah. So, and so, listen, listen. Did your prophet, he did practice that. This is about what? This is about the, 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 the uh, Zayd and Zainab. His eyes fall into Zainab and he forced him to divorce her. This is what the guy is saying. He likes Zainab. The guy, he came to him, okay, take her father. Zain, Zayd is the adopted son of Muhammad. So look at this. You said to me, "What is the benefit?" Okay, what he is doing this? He take the first, the the uh, the fifth of every attack. Which means, if the Muslims attack an, a, a Christian village or a Jewish village, the fifth, yeah, he takes the fifth of the booty. Yeah, thank you. The... Not only that, the best of the booty. Not only the, he will take the top. Safiul Maghanim. You know what Safiul Maghanim mean, right? The best, like the biggest TV, the biggest car, right? So what are you telling right. me? Obviously, he's a gang leader. And now, not only that, I mean, why a prophet of God? He see with my respect to your family, Mr. Muhammad, I'm not trying to insult. Or let us say me, I'm, so, so you don't be offended. Let us say I'm a Muslim and I'm married. And my wife, she walk in the front of the prophet. And then the prophet, he saw my wife. And now I have to divorce her so he can sleep with her. Be honest with me. Is that right to do? Yeah, that's... <sighs> Uh, like me, I, personally, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. But what guarantees you that that might happen? You know, because at the end, if you look at it, he's a he's a prophet. What the prophet? Okay, see here. I go. So God see, has to keep him away from you know, away maybe from getting seduced by other people or he, stuff like he this. He is seduced like, already. Look at this. He, a woman walk by, he want to have her. I mean, the guy is already married. He have thirteen wives, and he have many sex slaves. So why he want to have a married woman? It's not enough what you have. He's not like a single guy. He cannot find a woman to marry him. And how in the world a woman she is married, she have a husband. Just because your eyes fall into her, 
you force the husband to divorce her so he can have her immediately. إذا وقع بصره على امرأة وجب وجب you know what وجب mean right? It's a yeah. must. It's a must it's a for must. her husband to divorce her. If somebody tried to do that to you, with, with my respect to your family, are you going to let him do that to you? To be honest, no. Okay. So how you accept Muhammad doing that to you, to 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 you know whatever people? This is first not just. Secondly, Muhammad he proved that he have no ethic. Number three, Muhammad obviously he have a benefit, money and sex. From this religion, he's not serving God; he's serving himself. He made verses. Look what Aisha she said. Do you know what Aisha she said to him when he made those verses? She said, "Inni ara Rabbuka yusaru ila hawaka ya Muhammad." Yeah, yusaru fi hawak. Yeah, I see okay. your God is uh, okay. doing whatever He can to please you. All right. So why, why, why Allah he is uh, what, Allah serving Muhammad sexual desire? Why? What does it have to do with God? Like you can tell, you know, she she felt jealous. Okay, no problem. Wife. But my friend, is it is it right that there's God? The guy he have already many wives. He have many sex slaves. He receive uh, many women as gift, even from from rulers. Additional to the women, he kidnapped them from their husbands. So what this is about? Aisha, she is said clearly. Now she's trying to put an excuse why she did that. I felt jealous. But the fact she did not feel jealous. She noticed. That his God, this guy, he wished to have this woman. Here we go, a verse come. This guy, he want to have a verse come. Which means, Muhammad, he subjugated God to his sexual desire. 